Okay, guys, we we continue with the lecture, right? So, right. So we have a, in Malaysia we have uh, federal constitutions. Yeah. So we consider this federal constitution is the highest law in our country, right? So it's stated under the Article Four, eh? right? So what Article Four said about uh, federal constitution? Okay, it says that this constitution is the supreme law of the federation and any law passed after Merdeka Day which is inconsistent with this constitution shall to the extent of the inconsistency be void eh? so in other words it says that our federal constitution is the highest law of the country eh? so we have only one eh, in Malaysia we have only one laws which is called a federal constitution is the highest laws of the country and any laws passed after the Merdeka Day which is inconsistent with this constitution shall be void uh, so void means uh, not valid eh? invalid or terbatal okay uh, so in other words in Malay we call it as batal so if there is a law which is which is uh, different eh? which is inconsistent which actually is a kind of violate eh, or violate the the constitutions eh? the law that law will be void so uh, who are going to decide whether a, a kind of law is uh, inconsistent or consistent or not with the federal constitution is the court to decide eh? The court is the only avenue whereby uh, it can actually declare that the law is white or not because of it is inconsistent inconsistency with the federal constitutions eh? with FC eh? with FC. So so any parties eh? any citizen actually uh, can raise up this. Uh, issue in the court eh? uh, so uh, it is more technical lah, eh? uh, but if you uh, come across if you uh, you know uh, come across a law that we, you feel that it is con inconsistent with the constitution we you always can actually bring the case to the to the court uh, which court uh, so you have to bring the to the high court eh? uh, so we have to engage in the lawyer and then the lawyer will bring the matter to the high court eh? uh, so the high court if the high court uh, you know cannot decide the, the case it will go to the federal court okay so it, will, it have to be the higher the court of highest eh? superior court eh? superior court So this is under Article Four, Subsection One. Eh? All right. So all right. By the way, uh, if you if we read uh, the Federal Constitution, we have to say Article Four, Article Four, Article Thirty Two, Article One, Article Three. Eh? So we call it as perkara, eh? perkara four, perkara empat. But for a common statute. We don't actually cite the provisions uh, as article. Eh? We call it as section, section four, section thirty, for example. Eh? So that is for common statute, which are considered below the FC. Eh? But for FC, the provisions are cited as article, article, article. Okay, article. So in a way that it differentiate between the FC and the common statute, eh? uh, because we have only one eh? in FC in our country we have only one. We buy the common as compared to common uh, statute we have thousands. Eh? We have thousands of statutes. Okay, so 
so in a way it differentiate the level of uh, the law itself eh? okay first eh? the second one uh, regarding the position of yang di pertuan agung eh? it is stated under article 32 subsection 1 eh? it says that they shall be the supreme head of the federation to be called the yang di pertuan agung eh? who shall take precedence over all person in the federation and shall sorry eh? this one is typing error shall not be liable to any proceedings whatsoever in any court except in the special court established under part 15 eh? under part 15 right okay uh, 14 or 15 this one eh? 15 eh? okay so right okay uh, this is also important provision whereby we submit that in our country, we have Yang Di Tuan Agung, right? Yang Tuan Agung, okay. And this Yang Tuan Agung, he shall not be liable, eh? He shall not be any liable any proceeding whatsoever, except when the case is brought to the special court. But it, uh, I would say that it is actually almost impossible, eh? Almost impossible to anybody to bring a case against Yang Di Tuan Agung. Eh, even to the Sultan, eh, they have their immunities. Eh. But if, uh, in case there is a case against the Nebutan Agong, it has to be brought into the special court. So, special court, this one is very, very special, whereby the court will be established and the judges might be actually. Uh, might be important uh, from other countries, eh? not in Malaysia. Eh? Uh, even way back to 1980s, if you realize that uh, uh, the Chief Justice eh, was then eh, was uh, sacked by the Prime Minister, right? Uh, so the, there is also a special court whereby the judges. Uh, consists of those judges uh, from the foreign countries eh? uh, so that is that was is a chief justice if you imagine the Yemtan Agung and then will be you know it will be a crisis like we say eh? it will be a, a, another crisis but uh, I would say it will be impossible eh? impossible for this uh, special court almost impossible eh? almost impossible for a special court to hear uh, a case whereby uh, Yem Tan Agung is the subject of the of the that uh, uh, suit, eh? suit okay right uh, the third one is about the official religion of the federation eh? this is stated under article 3 okay? so it states that islam is the religion of the federation but other religions may be practiced in peace and harmony in any part of the federation eh? so i know you you, you have already noted here right that Islam is the religion of the federation, right? So, we need to say, uh, you know, how to how to know that whether it is uh, whether Islam is uh, we call it, the official religion or not. So, normally in a official ceremony, eh, for example, right? For example, in an official ceremony, we can see that it is uh, uh, began with you know with doa right uh, a kind of doa something like that eh? so that is kind of to show that Islam is the official eh, religion of the country but for other religions eh, 
they are not actually denied eh, from being practiced eh, from being practiced so under article 3 it says only to show that islam is the official religion but other religion are not denied to to be practiced in any, any part of this country eh? so there is a freedom of religion eh? in other words eh? the freedom of religion eh? Okay, Article 5 about liberty of a person. Okay, it says that no person shall be deprived of his life or personal liberty, save in accordance with law. Right? Okay, there is no person shall be deprived of his life. Meaning to say, you cannot actually deprive of his life means that we cannot actually, for example, uh, punch somebody or kill somebody. Eh? So that is the meaning of deprive of his life. Eh? So not only killing but also injured, injured uh, to somebody's uh, body. Eh? So we are not free to do that. Eh? So it means like that. Also personal liberty. Eh? Personal liberty, for example, the right uh to movement right to speech eh? we cannot deprive of this kind of of liberty eh? and this must be practiced in accordance with law right in accordance with law sometimes we can deprive of somebody's life in accordance with law for example what for example like a criminal right if somebody murders or kills some another, so that person can be charged in the court. And if found guilty, that uh, the person can be can be hanged to death, for example, eh? uh, sentenced to death. So it can of deprive of life, but in accordance with law. Okay, uh, so the word in accordance with law must be uh, read together with this and eh? deprive of his life or personal liberty okay uh, example of personal liberty that can be deprived is right to movement right for example right now we have a, a mco right whereby we restrict people to uh, restrict people to move to other state for example right uh, rest restrict movement then is kind of personal liberty but it it is practiced in accordance with law right uh, according with law so we need to say our liberty our free movement our uh, anything about our we call rights must be in line with the law okay we cannot do anything we like in, in other words, eh? we cannot do anything with that. Everything that we do must be in accordance with law. Okay, that is what I mean. Eh? Right. Okay, next. Number five, right? Equality before law. Okay, equality before the law eh? under article 8 right? it says that all persons are equal before the law and entitled to the equal protection of the law so it is clear eh? it is clear in this uh, article whereby every citizen nation citizen is protected under the law eh? equally eh? Respective of the religion, irrespective of the race, eh, and irrespective of the uh, language, eh, uh, religion and race, nah, especially. Eh, uh, so they must get the equal protection before the, the law. So this is under Article 8. Eh. Next, number 6 a freedom of movement. Under article 9, this is what I said just now. 
right? No citizens shall be banished or excluded from the federation. So, banish mean uh, you cannot expel a citizen. Eh? You cannot expel a Malaysian citizen out of this country. Not in accordance, not in accordance with the law. Eh? Also not uh, exclude any citizen eh, from the federations so subject to clause 3 okay there is a provide so here and to any law relates relating to the security of the federation or any part of the law whereby if there is a public order eh, public health or punishment offenders every citizen has the right to move freely throughout the federation and to reside any part of thereof so this provision means that Generally, eh, generally, the general principle is that nobody can restrict people uh, from moving in any part of this country except if the reason is because of public order, public health, or the punishment of offenders. So, so these three kind of subject matters eh, or things that we can restrict people from moving uh, from movement eh, their movement eh, all right. because of the pub public order because of public health or the punishment eh. public order means uh, if uh, that person uh, actually make um, uh, you know can actually threaten the country then it call as public order eh? uh, so for example the terrorists eh? uh, so terrorist is under the public order public health is like what we are facing just right now whereby the ministry of health has made uh, you know restriction of movement eh? especially for sabahan and also part of kl trajaya right so this kind of uh, example is a public health eh, whereby uh, free of movement is not it's not everything lah, eh? you, you can restrict that, that free of freedom of movement eh? uh, and the punishment as well eh? so punishment if a person is found guilty for certain certain laws then maybe he is the punishment is banish, banishment, eh? but banishment of course not are, uh, expelled from the Malaysia. Eh? Banishment from uh, a, a state to another state, eh? for example, from Johor to Malacca, for example. Eh? So the, if the punishment is uh, uh, stated in the law, then it is uh, under the constitution, it is valid. Eh? So we need to say only the three reasons whereby we can actually restrict uh, a person from moving to any part of this at uh, this country okay? public order public health and also punishment okay? because of the punishment okay number seven freedom of, freedom of speech okay? under article 10 Okay, so it says that every citizen has the right to freedom of speech and expressions. Okay, so for sorry, eh, for Article Ten, obviously it is not only stated of freedom of speech, it also states the freedom of assembly, right? Freedom of assembly and also freedom to to form a association so under article 10 it actually comprises of three uh we call it uh subject matters eh? of three subject matters of free rights eh? fundamental rights which are freedom of speech freedom of assembly and freedom of association okay freedom of speech but these are three are subject to certain laws of course Eh? 
So we need to say there are not actually 100% freedom. Eh? They are not 100% freedom like uh, freedom of movement just now. They are not actually 100% freedom of movement. They are subject to three subject uh, three things. So under Article 10, also the same, right? They are also the same. Even though the Constitution states uh, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, or freedom of association, actually they are not actually 100% uh, free. Eh? They are not freedom, 100% freedom. They are su subject to certain laws. Like freedom of speech. Uh, even though we can, we are we are free. We are free to to talk, right? To talk to you know, any 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 kind of subject matter, but it's subject to another law. For example, we cannot actually uh, commit any uh, defamation, eh? Fitnah, okay? Fitnah, eh? Uh, okay, we can talk, but we can cannot violate other others right okay and likewise freedom assembly okay you know we can actually uh, organize assembly but if the assembly uh, is made in the public we have to get the police uh, you know police permission say, for the assembly to be ready Okay. Uh, so also in right now we cannot simply organize right during the pandemic we cannot organize uh, assembly more than 250 for example eh? 250 packs of people eh? uh, so that is subject to certain laws eh? also right to form an eh? association uh, we have the right to form an association for example associations or you know students associations or that but it's subject to certain law whereby if the associations can threaten the public order or national security then that association can be invalid okay so in other words we even we have freedom all these uh, fundamental rights eh? but is have to be in accordance with the laws eh? okay and number eight is freedom of religion. Eh? This is under the article, article 11. Eh? Okay, okay. Every person has the right to profess and practice his religion as subject to the law. Okay, so this is clear. Eh? So yeah, every citizen, in nation citizen, has the right to profess and practice his religion. But for to propagate, eh, it is also stated that the constitution is very clear that the state law and in respect of the federal territories of form two and law one, the federal law may control or restrict the propagation of any religious doctrine or belief among persons professing the religion of Islam. Okay, ah. so this is also stated in the uh Article 11, subsection 4. Eh? Ah. So even though, even though that uh, a, a person is has the right to profess and practice his religions, but as far as the propagation is concerned, for uh, non-Muslim, they, they they cannot actually propagate their religious doctrine or religious belief to the to Muslim. Okay. So that is also a kind of freedom which is also subject to certain certain laws. Okay. Uh, subject to certain laws. Okay. okay uh, in federal constitution in FC we have uh, certain powers okay. we call it as legislative powers to enact laws eh, to buat undang, undang eh, to enact laws to mengubal eh, because enact is gubal eh, in bahasa to enact laws 
uh, we have we have three kind of list federal list concurrent uh, state list and concurrent list okay eh? so the fc does give a power uh, to the federal government and the state government to enact laws eh? uh, so for federal list we have in article 74 subsection 1 any matters regarding the external affairs national defense education finance trade commerce industry medicine health civil blah 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 they are under federal list in other words this uh, list of subject matter they are under the power solely under power of federation eh? under the federal government okay persetuan eh federal stand for persekutuan for you, uh, another one is state list eh? under article 74 subsection 2 so it's list down matters that state can can make laws eh? uh, we're talking about state uh, the lawmaker is the state as legislative assembly eh? for federal parliament either they both they want raya and they want negara okay there also a list which by, whereby uh, the federal and state less state can share eh? in enacting the law this is under article 74 uh, this is not a 74 section 2 I think it's 74 section 3 eh? so correct me okay 74 subsection 3 so regarding the Islamic law family law Muslim Malay custom offenses by Muslim land agriculture forestry and local government so they are the concurrent list. so both federal and state can enact the law okay but of course when affecting uh, when, when when enacting the law it will make it must actually uh, both federal and state they must actually negotiate or sit together eh? so uh, to avoid the you know redundancy and inconsistency of the law of the law that they may they make eh? okay